here they are for one and all The Moomins are about to call Come on and sit down here with me They're here for you on your TV They are the Moomins They are the Moomins So come with me, give me your hand I'll take you up to Moomin land You can fly just like a bird And sing the best song ever heard There were the Moomins 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 The rain was falling on Moomin Valley as though the heavens had decided to empty themselves. It was the wettest weather that anyone could remember. the sieve back, moment, but you can keep the jar if you like. Thanks. Mr. Hemulin, what a mess. Hello, Mr. Huh? Hemulin. Oh, good morning, Moomin. Oh, it's all misty now. What are you doing, Moomin? Observing very closely. Oh, splendid, my boy. I'm glad you find botany so exciting. Oh, what exactly is it you're observing? I'm sure I saw a beautiful crayfish in there. Crayfish, excuse me, young man, but that is zoology, quite the most uninteresting field. There it is. Papa! 
Oh, what have you got there? Oh, oh, nothing, Papa. Everything's so fresh after the rain, hmm, Boomin? Yes, it is. I got to show this to Snufkin before anybody else sees it. See me, it's not fair. Dragon. Ah, uh, yeah, I was right. It must be a baby dragon, probably the very last one on Earth and washed up by the rain. A dragon of my own. Well, that's wonderful. Oh, I hope I didn't frighten you. What I'll do, I'll take the lid off the jar so you can get some fresh air, little dragon. See? That's better, isn't it? Come on, little fella. We'll give you a cuddle to make you feel better. Oh! Oh! That burnt me! What a fierce little dragon you are. Don't worry. I'll look after you. I'll take good care of you. When you're bigger and start to like me, I'll take you swimming in the sea. Oh, I'm sorry. You must be starving. I'll get you something from my nighttime emergency food box. I've got lots of things in there. It's bound to be something you like. Go on. Take anything you want. I'll be back in no time at all. Remember, you're my own little dragon. Where's Sniff? I thought he was here as well. He's collecting worms for fishing. He'll be here soon. We'll start without him then. You know, Mama, certain people keep secrets in glass jars. Secrets? Ow! Yes! A little secret that hisses. Moomin Mama, I found this near the big puddle. Thank you, Sniff. Moomin, I told you I wanted it back. It's my very best one. Sorry, Mama. I was so excited I must have left it when I found... I mean, when I was... And I'm sure you know who I mean by certain people. Did you catch anything with the sieve, Moomin? Yes, he did. Something that's now hidden in his room. Big Mouse. If it's a secret, little Mai, perhaps he doesn't want to tell anyone. Yeah, probably because his new pet bites. Well, it hasn't bitten you yet, has it? Huh. If it did, I'd bite it back. Is it true? Does your secret really bite people? Well, it couldn't bite very hard if it was small enough to go in a jar, could it, Papa? I suppose certain people might keep other small things in jars. Beetles and spiders, mosquitoes, scorpions, or poisonous centipedes. Horrible things that multiply and multiply every week and grow and grow until the jars are too small. See? Like that. And there'll be so many of them, thousands and thousands, and they'll take over Moomin Valley and eat us all! Oh, well, I haven't got a centipede. Hmm, I wonder if centipedes come from outer space. But this is the Earth, dear. The rain could have brought them down from space, Mama, couldn't it? Well, you could be right. It was raining very hard yesterday. And it wasn't like ordinary rain. 
I saw a puddle as big as a lake. What's the matter, Moomin? It isn't a centipede. Ha! We're on the right track, though. Well, I'm glad it's not a poisonous centipede. I shouldn't have liked that. Oh, you're asleep. Moomin's little dragon. Is it okay if I go see Snuffkin, Mama? Have you finished already? Yes, I have. Tell them they mustn't go into my room, or they'll have to take the consequences. All right, Moomin. I'll make sure no one goes in there, I promise. Oh, but he's gonna tell Snuffkin the secret. Oh, I should think he is. Best friends always come first, little Mai. Fishing again? Yep. The cards told me that if I caught five minnows, one right after the other, I'd be traveling south. South? You're joking. Not at all. I believe in the cards. But Snufkin, winter's not here yet. I know that. But the cards tell you things for a reason, Moomin. Oh, do they really? But it would be awful if you went away, Snufkin. Just awful. I mean, I'd be very lonely. And anyway, who would I talk to or tell my secrets to? Oh, Snufkin, quickly! You must come up to Moomin House. Now? Yeah. Well, I suppose I could fish later. No, no, there's no point. But I have to catch five minnows. Uh, oh. The fish won't bite after all this rain. You'd catch nothing. It'll be better to wait until it stopped flowing so fast. Well, perhaps you're right. So what's this big secret all about? Uh, Hey, Moomin. Have you ever seen a dragon, Snufkin? No, of course not. They all disappeared off the face of the earth many hundreds of years ago. But perhaps they didn't all disappear. What if there was one alive somewhere? That's impossible. It could be so small that it would go in a glass jar, Snufkin. Are you sure you're not daydreaming, Moomin? But still, anything is possible, I suppose. But you know me. I have to see it right in front of me before I believe it. me that she wouldn't let anyone in. It's not here either. Well, you were right, Moomin. Huh? Ah, there he is. I think you found a real dragon. How did he get up there? He mustn't fall. He might lose his tail. Don't move, little dragon. And Snufkin, keep quiet. He might get frightened and do something silly. Don't worry, I'll soon have you down. This will do. I'll lay it on the floor here. Jump, little dragon. Don't be afraid. Come on, hold on to this and we'll bring you down slowly. Don't panic. I don't think that's a very good idea, Moomin. You'll only scare him away. Why don't you just leave him alone? He'll come down when he's ready. Dragons aren't helpless, you know, even little baby ones. But he's so small. Come to Moomin. Come on. Don't you understand? Hold on to that and I'll lift you down. Oh! 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 Look at him! My dragon can fly! He's flying! He's flying! Oh, oh. Come down, little dragon! You might crash into something! Come down! Be careful, Snuffkin. He might bite. I don't think so. He's a very unusual pet. I think he likes you more than me. Hmm. Ah. What a charming little creature, Moomin. He's lovely. What's his name? 
He's called Little Dragon. Ha! I don't think he's lovely at all. Small but savage, if you ask my opinion. That sounds just like you, Little Mai. Do you think so? Ouch! No, oh, 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 oh. oh. Now look here. He seems to have a thing about ears, doesn't he? Except Snufkins, why doesn't he bite him? Go on, dragon. Go on, bite him. He's really tasty. Go on. Goodness, I think he's trying to heat up Snufkins' coffee. He must really like him. Clever little thing. Well, I hope he's careful with that hot breath. We don't want to start a fire. All right, that's enough. Hmm, he might be useful. When he's bigger, we can put him in the cellar and he'll be able to heat the whole house, just like a furnace. No, we will not. I'm sure that'll keep him quiet. I'd better go. Thanks for the coffee, Moomin Mama. Oh no, it'll suffocate him. We all like Snufkin. Stupid old dragon. No, he isn't. Moomin, dear, why don't you take him to your room? He'll be happier there. This will be best for him. Oh, I wonder if he'll come back to visit us. Why did you do that? He was cute and we could have always worn earmuffs. You can visit him in Snufkin's tent. I expect little dragon's already sitting on his shoulder. It doesn't matter anyway. Snufkin's going south soon. We'll be able to go together. Oh, my dear Moomin, never mind. Well, you're a bit of a problem. I don't want you here, little dragon. Go on, go away. Go to Moomin. Don't do that. Oh, come on, please go to Moomin. Look, you're very nice, and it'd be fun to have you along. But there's Moomin, and he'd know you were here, and he'd be upset. Ah, uh, there's another one. Uh. That's the fifth. Oh, dear. Hmm? Any luck? Not bad. Are you going far? Oh, a fair way. Would you like some fresh fish? I'm sure you'll get hungry. Yeah, what do you want in return? A small favor. Take this as far as you can, open the lid, and just leave it. What? Just leave it? Yes, in a nice, quiet place, with lots and lots of flies. Flies? What's in there? A dragon. A dragon? Does it bite? Well, it might. This is a big favor. I don't even like minnows. Oh, they're not too bad if you roast them. Keep the lid on, but make sure you open it up later so it can catch the flies. All right, as long as it doesn't try to bite me. Don't worry, it won't. Hello. Hi. Oh, oh, oh. 
Where is he? Who is that? My dragon. He, he must have come here, Snufkin. Oh, really? I thought he was home with you, sleeping in your room. No, I let him out. Ah, well, dragons are very fickle. All they really care about is big, fat flies. It's best to forget about him, Moomin. Did you catch your five minnows? No, you were right. The water's too fast. Oh, really? So I won't go south until winter comes. You'll stay here, then? Well, I'm sure it wouldn't do to go against the cards. Now would it, Moomin, my friend? Oh, that's great! You're staying, Snuffkin! Fantastic! That's really, really good! Ah, perhaps I shouldn't have painted the float bright red. It might have scared those little minnows right away. Okay, let's go. Yeah. That dragon was sort of stupid. Baby dragons are. They make the world's worst pets. They never want to settle in one place. Yeah, you're right. It was very funny, though, when it bit little Mai's ear. I think it gave her a taste of her own medicine. <laughs> <laughs> Moomin was very happy that Snufkin was staying in Moomin Valley and not going south until winter. And as for the dragon, well, who wants to be loved by a silly old dragon? They love the laughter and they love the living, the Moomins. Believing and sharing and caring and giving, the Moomins. They're always happy and always at play. The Moomins are having fun day after day, the Moomins. They love the laughter and they love the living, the moments. Believing and sharing and caring and giving, the moments. They're always happy and always at play. The moments are having fun day after day, the moments.